Hey, Miyagi here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a super saw sound using Curve 2 by Cable Guys. So let's just have a quick listen to the tone here. And we'll have a quick listen to it over top of a beat. So super saws are a big sound in dance music. They're used a lot in electro house and um, pretty much any type of electronic music. They're dense and harmonically rich and really ear catching. They can really thunder the speakers quite a bit. So let's have a look at how to make it. So to begin with, I'm just going to pull up an instance of Curve 2 here. And as you can see, we have a preset loaded up. I'm going to want to switch it over to an initialization patch. So I'm just going to press new here. And we're going to start adding in a couple extra oscillators to begin with. So I'm going to activate wave two for oscillator two and wave three for oscillator three. Now, as you can see, these are all sine waves up here. So what I'm going to want to do is start off by making them into sawtooth waves. And I can do that either by adding in my own wave edit points with the mouse. And if I choose to do that, I can add either these soft edit points with the left mouse button or these harder edit points with the right mouse button. Or alternatively, I can choose to start off with one of our classic analog waveforms, which are pre-generated over here. So I'll do that just because it's a little bit simpler. So this, as you can see, is a simple sawtooth wave. And what I'm going to want to do right away, because we're going to want to create a fairly complex sounding wave, is start adding some extra kind of saw teeth. So I'm just going to quickly add that in. So we'll use that for wave one. And then I'm going to select a sawtooth again here. I'm going to do something similar for wave two and something similar for wave three. But because we're after a super saw sound, which is kind of made up of multiple out of phase sawtooth waves, I'm just going to use these offset buttons here to adjust the phasing of the wave and the start points. So now we have three out of phase sawtooth waves. So let's just hear that. Cool. Now, because this is going to be a bass tone, I'm actually just going to drop everything down an octave because I've already got a pattern made here. And let's just have a, a quick listen to what that pattern sounds like. So that's pretty cool. But one of the other things that really kind of creates the super saw sound that we all know is that these waves are detuned from each other. So I'm just going to take waves one and two and offset them a little bit. Not a gigantic amount, but we're going to go for a little bit. Yeah, this looks good. And let's hear how that sounds. It'll just come alive immediately. Especially if I play a sustained note here, you'll be able to hear what I mean. So really cool phasing effect. Now I'm just going to actually dial up a little bit of fatness using this fatness macro here. Now the macros are, you can set them up however you want, but this one is already set up for some nice unison settings here. So if I increase it, you'll just hear the sound become bigger and larger and, and add a little bit of stereo spread. So, so we're going to leave it like that for now. And let me just dial up a filter here because we're going to want to actually have a nice acidic kind of filter on this. So I'm going to go for a 12 dB low pass here. I'm going to bring the cutoff down a little bit, the resonance up a little bit. And let's have a listen now. Cool. But let's add an envelope to it. So to begin with, I'm going to take the volume envelope and I'm going to bring the attack all the way forward. And then envelope one here, I'm going to apply to filter cutoff. So EG1 is going to go across to filter cutoff one here. I'm just going to bring it up. We'll start it somewhere in the 70s here, go for 75. And then we'll have a look at our envelope here. So I'm just going to get rid of the loop area. So we're just looking for the most part at the attack and decay. And to get a nice kind of acidic 303-ish effect, we're going to bring the attack all the way down. And I'm just going to add a soft curve in here to the decay and bring the loop level down. And now let's hear how that sounds.
Nice. So the next step and one of the last steps here to making our nice kind of super saw baseline is we're going to add some glide. So I'm just going to bring this up to around 100 milliseconds for each oscillator. And I'm going to switch it over to monophonic mode. So now let's have a quick listen again and we'll play with the filter here. So yeah, that's a really good way to create a super saw baseline using Curve 2 by Cable Guys. It's an awesome synth and it's actually really simple to use and creates some great sounding results. So I highly suggest checking it out.